All right. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and today I'm going to share with you a juice that I'm just absolutely in love with. I'm also going to share with you some tips and tricks on juicing for the fall season. Now that watermelon season is like, mm, it's gone. And if you do find watermelon, it's kind of hard to find a really good one right now in stores. I'm actually on a hunt for one more before I close out the season. And Mm, I'm going to sure miss it. You get so much juice for so little. Okay. Yeah. The cost is just amazing. But anyway, we're in fall. So what is, what's, what's going on in fall? So fall is grape season. You can actually find seeded grapes around this time of year. Apples are in season and apples are really good in price right now. You can buy, get three pounds. We're here in Texas for like under $2. Pears are in season, so you're going to get really good deals on pears, really good deals on ginger and some of your root vegetables like carrots and beets. So let's go ahead and juice a few things up today. I am going to attempt at making an almond um, pumpkin spice type of situation, milk, <laughs> nut milk. So let's just see how that goes. I went ahead and soaked my almonds which was a cup in water overnight in one date so i've already rinsed and drained these off so they're pretty soft to touch i'm gonna go ahead and add that to the hopper i will be using the nama juicer today i'm just gonna go ahead and add that in and like i said this is my um this is my one cup of soaked almonds with one date normally i add more dates like two dates i normally add some vanilla and all the good things but today i'm trying to keep it simple so as i turn this on and blend it i'm going to add water as soon as i turn it on so let me close this up so that everything doesn't pour out on me and i'm just going to slowly add as it does its thing i don't want to make a lot and i don't want to make it thin I kind of want to make it thick because I plan on using this particular nut milk for my coffee. Almost like a creamer. So, so far that's one cup to one cup. I wonder how thick that is. I wonder if that's thick enough. I'm going to add just a little bit more. All right, so, so far the almond pulp, which is really good. You can actually dry this and make this into like almond flour. And then once it dries, just throw it into the um, blender to crumble it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that and use that for a later time. Probably gonna add that maybe for like some cookies or something. Yeah. All right, so let's see what everything looks like. Now that it looks like it's done. You know what I'm gonna do? I should have added the pumpkin spice while it was in here blending. That way, I don't have to take it and shake it up. That's quite a bit. <laughs> that's quite a bit. For what I was trying to do. So that's about a little bit over a teaspoon of pumpkin spice. So the pumpkin spice I'm using is the organic one. I normally get the Simply Organic or the one like from Trader Joe's, either one. They're really good um, in flavor. So now that I feel like that's blended enough, I'm gonna go ahead and open the hopper, spout. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. <laughs> that smells so good. The one thing about making the nut milks, you just have to gradually add the um, your liquids gradually add your water that way it can actually combine and give you the milk texture that you're looking for all right so let's go ahead and jar this up Make sure it doesn't look like it needs to be strained or anything more than once i'm gonna go ahead and pour this into my mason jar here so you can see what it looks like and so now I have me a pumpkin spice nut milk I want to taste it. Hold on. I want to taste it. We have to taste it, right? 
Let me just get a look. Just a little bit. Let's just see. Yeah, it just tastes like almond milk, actually, with a little bit of pumpkin spice. So this is not a sweetened um, drink. Like I said, you can add vanilla. You can add more dates to it if you like. I just wanted, like, the flavor of it to add to my coffee. I can always add, like, raw sugar or the coconut sugar when I make my coffee. So this is drink number one, juice number one, nut juice, nut milk, whatever you want to call it, uh, for our fall beverages. So for juice number two, it's going to be a fall juice. It's going to be a juice that I think most people enjoy if they like apple cobblers, apple cider. If you like anything paired with a little spice to it, like cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, then you might enjoy this beverage. It's going to be one that's going to be good for you, full of fiber. It's going to have your healthy sugars. I think it would be great for a morning boost if you just want to add a little something to your morning. And then also it's a cozy, comfortable um, late night snack in a juice. Okay. So you're going to get a lot of fiber, like I said, from your apples and your pears, and we're going to also add ginger. So all these currently have apples and pears at a dollar under $2, right? We're just going to say they're $2 a bag for three pounds. So basically I'm going to make this juice for under five bucks and um, I'm going to get several jars from it. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting these in half and tossing them into the hopper so that we can get started on our next juice. Now, I did soak the ginger overnight. You want to make sure you soak your ginger. It doesn't even have to be overnight, just a couple hours and take the skin off because the skin often has a chemical on it that they spray to stop it from sprouting. So you want to go ahead and peel that skin off before you put it into your juices. I'm going to use quite a bit of ginger because I like the spice and I love the ginger when in combination with nutmeg and cinnamon. We're not going to add the nutmeg and cinnamon to the actual juice. We're going to add it to the jars and that way you can shake and go. All right. So the nutmeg I have is a nutmeg actual um, like a nut. I don't have the actual powder because I like using fresh nutmeg when I use nutmeg. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and toss these in. Let's get this juice started. I hope you all are doing well today. I hope you are ready for fall now that it's here. Definitely my favorite season. Um, this is when I start to watch TV. I'm not really a TV fanatic fan or anything like that, but I tend to like to watch TV late in the evening. I think it's because it gets darker quicker and then I'm not in the garden so much during fall like I am in spring and summer, like sweating like crazy. So I kind of get to chill a little bit more come fall season. So if you have any like Netflix shows that you think I would be interested in, any documentaries or just really good, like, I don't know, feel good. I don't really like a lot of drama. OK, I do a little action, but I don't like a lot of drama. Put it down below in the comments. Let me know what you're watching for fall. We all know come winter and be on that lifetime. OK, lifetime be holiday season us out, don't it? All right, come on now. I know you fit. All right, so we're going to get this one started. Just make sure we close this up. And then I'll just get started peeling the ginger. I did watch, I think it's Living to 100. I forget what it's called. I started watching it a couple episodes um, the other night. And it's about people who live to 100. Like they should talk about their diets and basically the regions that they live in and the foods that they eat is quite interesting so i'm only i just completed episode one and it's interesting to see what people are eating in their lifestyle these people that live to 100 because you know um the estimated lifespan here in the united states has dropped severely over the last like 20 years or so and we don't see many people like we used to live into 100 plus. Like, you know, we celebrate those like heavily who live to 100 because it's not as common as it once was. So let me know your thoughts on that. Have you watched that show? I'll put the picture of the show here because I totally forget what it's called. Um, something about living to 100. So, yeah. All right. That looks so good. So good. 
So normally what I do when I make a combination juice like this, I just make the drink. I put it in a pitcher. Um, I'm just making sure to take the apple seeds out. I put it in a pitcher so that um, I can just mix it well before I put it in my jars. That's what I normally do. Too bad I don't have patience to, to grow an apple tree, right? I have so many seeds. Maybe we'll save some seeds to see if we can grow an apple tree. <laughs> me and the kids. That should be fun. I don't know. But let me tell you. So I was telling y'all the other day that I think that kids would love this drink. And my kids were like, <gasps> like, Penny was like, I wonder, can I heat this up? <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know. Can you heat this up? Like, you would have to probably drink it like then. But that that's what I mean when it reminds me of like apple cider. Um, yeah, it's really, really delicious. All right, so we're almost done with making the three pounds of apples. I did wash the apples and pineapple. Of course, I used my, uh, my little machine that goes in the water to make sure everything was clean. My aqua pour. It is linked in my link tree. Everything you see me use today will be linked in my link tree. I, I won't leave anything out, okay? So you don't have to ask me where anything is from. Everything will be linked on the first link you see as well as the pinned comments, okay? All right, so while that's going, I just have my pitcher here, which holds quite a bit. Oh, look at that juice, honey. Yes. And it just smells so good. Like it smells really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and drop this ginger in here. I'm not going to use the whole ginger like I said I was at the beginning. I'm going to use this much, which is quite thick. It's like the thickness of three thumbs. Drop that in there. I'm going to start cutting up these pears. Now, really and truly, you can drop everything in a hopper. You don't have to cut everything. I cut the apples because that's how I get them seeds out. Um, and I like to cut the pear tops off to get that stem off. But, yeah, you don't have to. And it makes enough juice. I think it makes a decent amount of juice. I know someone asked me yesterday, how much juice does it really make? So you'll be able to see that today. I'll make sure I give you the calculations of these two three pound bags, as well as, now I don't know if this over or under, because I'm sure these bags are off. There, there can't be exactly three pounds, right? They're either over or under. Uh, it's hard to bag like the exact amount, like realistically. Yes, we're going to get us some good fiber, honey. So this fall, we're not only going to drink good juice that hydrates us, that gives us the nutrients that we need, that feeds our cells, but we're also, we're going to be sitting on the toilet, honey, because this is where all the fiber is coming from. We got grapes this season and apples mm, and pears. And not pears, what are they? Plums, plums. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and while this is here, add the cinnamon and I just have some organic cinnamon. So I'm just adding about hmm, two teaspoons probably. This pulp looks so good. <laughs> I just want to eat it. The pear smells so refreshing. Pear is one of my favorites uh, when it comes to fragrant notes, like pear and vanilla. Oh my goodness. I love the scent of pear and vanilla, especially like Jean-Paul Gaultier, LaBelle. Oh, love it. All right, so we're on our last batch of the pears, and then we're gonna mix, blend, shake real good, and dry it up. And I'm gonna clean up, and I'll be back with a clean workstation. Okay, 
Cute, okay. Yes. All right. So I have my little mini um, grater and my nutmeg, and I'm just going to go ahead and get that in here real good. Yesterday, I just put it in the particular jar because I only made one. But since I'm making several, I'm just going to kind of put this in here and shake it up real good and let it do its thing. Oh my goodness, that smells amazing. If you don't have nutmeg, you can just use allspice or something like that. Something like with that sweet, like spicy, like scent to it. Oh, this need batteries. Yep, it needs batteries. That's okay. We'll just shake it up by hand and we okay. We we not that lazy. We we could do a little shimmy shake by hand. It's all good. Can you imagine hosting brunch at your house and you have something like this in the fall? Mmm. I bet this would be so good with like a brunch for sure. This is something you can freeze as well. Make sure you leave about an inch space though when you put these in the freezer. Try not to leave no space if you're putting these in the refrigerator and then try to drink these within like four days. This is a Nama juicer so you get a little bit more time than one of those high uh, powered juicers that you know has an added heat. This one doesn't so you get a little bit more time on your juice. But just try to make sure you are filling it to the top so you don't have any um, air in your drink, okay? Go ahead and put these on. I'm just going to put these in the fridge, so I'll probably drink, um, well, I'm about to drink this one right now, but <laughs> I'll probably drink these within the next two days. If my, my kids will probably come home and want to, so I tell them they can make it if they wanted to. I, let me see how much these are. I think these are either 18 or 20 ounces. I'll put it on the screen right here. If so, this is 60 ounces plus an additional. This one says this is also 20 ounces, but this one is a little bit under. We'll just say like 18. So, yeah, almost 80 ounces just for those two bags. So if that's the case, then it would be 50 cents. <laughs> 50 cent a juice friend, right? Because that gives us a, our $4. We'll just say 75 cent a juice because we added ginger and a little bit of cinnamon, you know, just a little sprinkle of that. So I'm going to go ahead and put these away. I'm going to add a little ice to this and I'm going to drink this while we make our next juice. All right, let's go ahead and get us a sip. All right. H-E-B had the fresh green grapes for three pounds for $2.50. So I bought two packs at $5. Today we're going to use one full pack. I used the pack that we didn't eat out of so we can keep in line with going on the budget we have created for ourselves. And I'm using one bag of Gala apples. That is three pounds as well. Is it three or two? Let me check the packaging. Um, these are the Gala apples. And this one is hmm, three pounds as well. And it's from H-E-B and they were $1.89. So let's just say another $5. Let's just, let's just round that up, okay? Another five dollars for some juice. Okay, so two, two fifty. Yeah, we're gonna add the other piece of ginger that was left over. Now, I buy my ginger from the Asian market most of the time. That's why it's so thick in size. Just so you know, I get some from Aldi's, but for the most part, I order it from. I buy it from Ninety Nine Cent Ranch, which is an Asian grocery store here in. Houston. <clears throat> so I'm going to take the grapes. I did not wash this out. Okay. Just so you know. And I just normally take the grapes and pop them off the stem just really quickly like this. I was looking for the black moon drop grapes. Y'all know I am 
I mean, that is my grape. So today I'm going to head out to Sprouts and see if I can find any either to eat or to just, you know, juice. It doesn't really matter. Now, grapes are also fibrous too. <laughs> Listen, we're going to get the juice from the grapes. It's, it's so refreshing. It's so sweet and so good. And these grapes are really sweet. They're not tart at all. So it's a lot of sugar, right? So if you have a sugar... You have a problem with insulin spikes and you have a problem with your sugar, contact your doctor, of course, and make sure you are drinking these in moderation. Just be careful, you know, be cognizant of what you're drinking, putting into your body. Like I said, these will be drank like once or twice a day, opposed to like eating pancakes with syrup, <laughs> having a Coke with 42 grams of sugar for one can. We're not doing that. And yeah. And this is a different type of sugar. This is a fruit sugar. This is not that fake fructose corn sort thing. So make sure that if you have any issues, you know, they have the little strips out, out there in Walgreens, CVS, you know, where you can test yourself daily to make sure you're good. So let's go ahead and get this one started. I dropped a grape right here. I'm trying not to eat these grapes, y'all. This is so hard to do right now. While that's going, I'm going to do just like I did for the other apples, split them open, take the seeds out so they'll be ready to go. Oh my God. I just broke another nail. Another one. Another one. Why do I keep breaking these nails? I guess I could have washed this out. <laughs> You see how much juice that made? And that is just from grapes. That is from grapes. That's not even the whole three pounds. So the one thing that I really am enjoying about the Nama, which this is video is not really about the Nama, it's about the juices, is that I can really see the difference in the amount of juice it makes when it comes to um, the fruits and vegetables. I actually believe the 40% more yield because I see it. <laughs> uh, some of the stuff I used to make, especially grapes in my other slow press juicer, it actually had more, it like, yeah, it didn't produce a lot at all. And it was very mushy instead of like dry, like pulp like this, which this still has some moisture to it, but not like the other one. I used to put it in a nut cloth and squeeze even more. So, yeah, so that's in there. We already did the ginger. I'm just going to drop these apples in here. So I am taking the seeds out. And normally I just drop the apple sometime. But because I'm eating a lot of these and drinking a lot of these juice with apples, I know those seeds could be toxic, like swallowing them or whatever. So I'm just going to try to be more conscious of that because I am consuming a lot. So if, I, if it was just like this one drink, I would just toss that in there. But I'm making a lot. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'm going to have enough room in this container for the rest of the um, juice. So I have a hopper of apples and two more apples to drop. Well, one more apple to drop. But I want to show you the amount that it makes. So when you're finding these in stores at really good prices, you can make this juice at affordable prices. You don't have to spend a lot of money to make juice. So the next one we do, we'll make sure we do a different variety of fall juices. So stay tuned for that. That'll go up this weekend. I think you all would enjoy that one too. I'm excited about that one. All right, almost done. Let's add this last apple. And I might have to just start pouring the juice into jars real quick. Make sure we get all of that out. 
We ain't trying to say that for nobody. We're not trying to put that down the drain. No, no. All right, let's go ahead and add that to the picture here. So once again, that is one container of three pounds of bricks and one bag of three pound gala apples. I mean, use whatever you want, like apple-wise, but this is a really good, it's not only refreshing, but it just reminds me of fall, apple picking season. Oh, well, can you imagine going to pick some really nice fresh apples from like an orchard and making your own apple juice? Mm. Or going and picking apples from your own tree. We are lucky here today to go apples and pears. I just don't have any apples right now, but there are pears actually growing outside. Let me get one more jar. Sorry about that. I didn't even have a microphone on. I might have to do something about that. But anyway, these jars are 32 ounces. So I want to show you just about how much we get. So I would say this is a little bit more than half, right? So let's say that's 20 ounces, right? 64 and 20, 84 ounces. I think we did really good. And you can split these up into smaller jars for a smaller juicing, but I'm probably going to just use this as a meal, like lunch or whatever. With like maybe a small side salad or some like uh, veggies to chop on. Yeah, these are good. Actually, really and truly, my kids are probably going to take one of these and split this today. Okay? Because <laughs> I know it's good. All right, so apple, ginger, and grape. Oh, this is good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is good. All right, so let me put this away, clean up, and let's close out this video. Today is a busy day for me. I can't wait to get started. I have my juice in me. I have my extra little mm, so I'm ready. Yeah, so these three recipes were just really simple, easy recipes. It's not a ton of fruit, a ton of vegetables, a ton of this, and chopping that, and scrubbing this. You know what I'm saying? I want to start focusing on more of like... Five dollars in a juice where you can make instead of spending five dollars for one juice you can spend five or maybe ten dollars in under and you make several juices okay <laughs> that's what i want to kind of focus on i think for fall we're going to focus on one pot meals and some soups some healthy recipes some healthy plant-based recipes that have simple ingredients and don't take no more than like 10 minutes to fix right either we throw it all in the pot put the lid on and walk away or we toss it into our pressure cooker, right? That's what we're going to do this, this uh, fall for sure. Make everything easy, everything simple and easy. And it tastes good, right? So I don't have to put a bunch of different fruits in whatever to have that apple pie, cinnamon spice, okay, juice. It tastes so good to me. And um, yeah, that's it. Sweet and savory is to come possibly this weekend, some spicy savory juice to come this weekend and possibly a a one pot meal we'll see how that goes anyway i'm headed out to sprouts had to get my nails fixed because i just broke two one in the garden the other day and one this morning so <laughs> i'm headed to sprouts see if they have any seeded grapes headed to h-e-b to see if they have any more apples any more grapes on sale because I got to get them while they're here. And another thing about apples and grapes, you can freeze those. So if you're into smoothies, definitely get the apples, peel your apples, cut them up and freeze them. Throw them on a cookie sheet, wait till they're frozen, you know, like little ice rocks. Put them in a Ziploc bag or put them in a container and you can always use them for a really nice apple like caramel like smoothie, right? They have all so many powders out now. That would be a good fiber smoothie too. So let's take advantage of the sales and everything that's out there for fall. And um, yeah, watermelon season's over, friend. It's time for apples, pears, plums, and all things fibrous. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Peace and blessings.